Uh, the latest in the Penn State sexual abuse case. For the first time, we're hearing from the eyewitness at the center of this entire scandal. That man is assistant football coach Mike McQuarrie, who says he saw the suspect, Jerry Sandusky, raping a boy in 2002. Chief investigative correspondent Armin Katayan is in State College this morning with the very latest. Armin, good morning. Good morning, Erica. The 37-year-old McQuarrie is expected to be a prime witness in a case against Sandusky. Yesterday, in a brief interview, he gave us a glimpse into the emotional roller coaster he's ridden the last 10 days. Okay. And then just one Standing on the front porch of his home Tuesday emotionally. afternoon and speaking out for the first uh, time, Mike McQuarrie said the scandal has turned his life upside down. Describe your emotions right now. Uh, all over the place, just kind of uh, shaking. Crazy? Crazy. <laughs> and you said what? Like a snow globe. Like a snow globe. Yes, sir. Mike McQuarrie has been placed on administrative leave. Last Friday, McQuarrie was placed on indefinite administrative leave by Penn State, keeping him away from Saturday's game in part over concerns about his safety. McQuarrie had told the grand jury that in 2002, he'd witnessed former defensive coach Jerry Sandusky rape a boy as young as 10 years old in a locker room shower. An act, according to court papers, McQuarrie reported to the then head coach Joe Paterno but not the police. A team source, however, tells CBS News McQuarrie told some of his players he did the right thing and put a stop to the alleged assault. Tuesday, he would not say any more about his role, citing ongoing investigations. This process has to play out, and I just don't have anything else to say. In addition, a law enforcement source familiar with the sex abuse investigation told CBS News that more victims have come forward, and they are currently being vetted by the Pennsylvania State Police. Dude, there's going to be there's going to be more with attorney Ben Andriozzi represents one of the eight alleged victims referenced in the grand jury report. Just give me a sense um, how your client is feeling right now, uh, his range of emotions. He was really identified with the Penn State football community and that culture. And to see what that uh, culture and the fall from grace in the last few weeks has been painful. So he's been dealing with his own issues resulting from the sexual abuse. And on top of that now, he's got to uh, deal with uh, the issues that are uh, surrounding the football program. According to an email obtained by the Associated Press, McQuarrie now says after stopping the assault, he discussed it with police. But a university spokesman told us yesterday, to her knowledge, no police report was filed. Erica. Armin Katayan at Penn State and State College this morning. Armin, thanks.